Hello everyone, um, as you can see I finally got off my ass and decided to do another video and uh, we're back with an old favourite, we're going to be uh, looking at a breakdown for a 30 minute missions custom that I built and this is a, well you can call it a tank, you can call it an artillery piece but I thought it would be a nice complement for the battle mechs that I've been putting together and uh, since I've been getting kind of good um, feedback uh, for this on the Facebook page I decided to do a breakdown for this so let's get down to the parts list all right here we are we have the parts and these are the components you will need first of all I think it's quite obvious that you're going to need the uh, tank vehicle set and you're going to need two of those you're going to need the Rabiot torso, just the torso. You're going to need the Rabiot option armor for special operations, just the chest component, this uh, very nice sort of cockpit. And you're going to need uh, option parts, uh, these two connectors. Again, it looks like this. Again, again, it looks like this, so you'll want to take note of the precise connector you need from option part set 1. You're going to need smoke launchers, and uh, these are going to be optional. And finally, this. Now, this is something that you might want to pay special attention to. This does not belong in 30-minute uh, missions. This is actually the shield connector for, I believe, a GM striker. So this connects to the forearm and this connects to the striker shield. Now, I'm quite sure you can find similar parts uh, to this in a lot of other sets and you might have that lying in your bits box. But uh, not to worry, don't think too much about this. You'll find out what this is for and then you'll find that you probably have some uh, alternatives once I get to that. Now uh, let's talk about how you want to put them together. The first thing you want to do is uh, get your tank cannons and you want to connect this as you do on your tank vehicle for 30 minute missions. So you want to connect these like so. And you'll have two of them put them aside for now. Now, let's start with the um, body of the tank. For every two sets of treads, you want to join them together with these. Like so. Do that, and then this way. Like so. Prepare one, and then prepare your second one. Like so. Following that, you will need to connect these. So uh, have a look closely at the cross section to see how they are connected. So you want to connect one of these struts first and then put these two in this order with the broader sections pointing outward. Then fasten them together like so. For the other one, you want the same orientation
but with your narrower sections pointing outward in opposite directions. Now you want to connect these two together using these connectors like so. The mirror images and they're identical so you won't need to pay attention to the orientation. Um, I'm just doing so because I want my stickers in a certain way. Now you're going to connect these to this peg like so. And these that peg like so. Now you have the fuselage of your tank. These serve a very special purpose. I picked these because they are in the uh, tank vehicle set. But if you can find 3mm ports roughly this distance apart, you can uh, sort of pick some more aesthetically pleasing ones. These leave a little bit to be desired because of the final look, but they are very convenient to find because they're in the same box. And you'll want to fasten these sections together like so, just to give it some structural integrity. At the end of the day, you don't need these sections, but they do help. Now there you are with the fuselage of your tank. You don't need to add um, the torso. You can actually have quite a lot of fun uh, just finding ways to connect these onto your tank and having you know, fairly interesting um, variants with these. However, uh, what I've done is this. Um, I've taken my Rabiot torso and I've attached this shield uh, clip from uh, a Gundam kit, a Gunpla kit, and I've used this as a almost mobile armor type turret with that uh, armor piece as well on the front and your weapon pieces placed like so. And then finally, smoke launchers or any other optional parts that you want, rocket launchers, little machine guns, all fit very well in this uh, with this aesthetic. Now, as an added option, um, I left the head connector on, and I'm putting on a Roy Roy from an Alto just to cover that up and sort of act like a sensor dome on the top. But that's completely up to you. You can exclude the neck connector and just display it as is without that sensor dome. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting way to use the 30 minute missions kit. It does round out uh, my display. For me having a whole bunch of battle mechs and then one of these sitting around is actually uh, quite nice and sort of adds a little bit of uh, contrast to, uh, the, to the scene. And uh, well, that's kind of it. I think that's pretty neat. So thank you for joining me for this video. And if you've got the time, uh, feel free to visit my website at cringeboner.com. I'm not sponsored. I don't have uh, any product placements. All I have is my website. I sell things on it. And um, if you see something on it, you know, from... Warhammer 40k or in future any Gunpla options that you like, please feel free to support me. In the meantime, thank you and have a safe lockdown. Take care. Bye-bye.